Next up is men's singles, and it's an all-Japanese affair with Kento Momota, the reigning and two-time world champion, up against Kanta Suniyama, looking to reach his first final at Super 750 World Tour level. Well, when we look at the men's singles draw from the quarter-final stage, we only had two seeds left. The number one seed and the number four seed, Chou Tian Chen, from Chinese Taipei. Six different nationalities, three from Japan, and two of the Japanese players have come through, as you can see in the bottom half of the draw. Chou Tian Chen, who has twice been a finalist here, he won the title in 2014, lost in the final the next year. He is already safely through to his third final here at the French Open by beating Ho Kwan He, who put out the number one seed at the recent Tokyo Olympic Games. So it's all Japanese affair in the top half of the draw. So we're guaranteed a Japanese player in the men's singles final tomorrow. But who will it be? Of course, Kento Momoto on paper as the world number one and the reigning world champion, you would assume, was the favourite. But he is so tired from so many matches over the last three or four weeks. He led Japan in the uh, Sudaman Cup campaign and then in the Thomas Cup as well. He played eight matches over those two campaigns, team matches, and uh, then he reached the final of the Denmark Open and had a marathon match against Victor Axelsson, the Olympic champion. An hour and 33 minutes in the final in Odense. He's played tough matches here as well, including a first round match against a former world number one and the winner of the French Open in 2017, Kidambi Shrikan. He must have an accumulation of tiredness. So, whilst on paper he's the favourite, I think that perhaps Kanta Suniyama may cause him a few problems today. But here is the world number one, the two-time reigning world champion, Kento Momota, in his third semi-final here at the French Open, looking to reach his first ever final at this particular tournament. He's making his sixth appearance. He's been a regular here. His opponent, Hunter Suniyama, is making his third consecutive appearance here in Paris. And prior to this year, he had never got past the second round. That was the last French Open. He lost to Victor Axelsson, who then lost in the semi-final. So for him to never be past the round of last 16 to suddenly been in the semi-final and possibly in the final tomorrow is a remarkable achievement from Suniyama. This will be a sixth meeting between these two players, as you can see. And Kento Momota has won four of the previous five, including the last time they met, which was the quarter-final of the China Super 1000 event. It was a very, very one-sided match in Chengzhou. 21-11, 21-8 in 36 minutes. So, Morton, the yeah. toss of the coin, who yeah. won? Um, I was just about speaking Danish there. <laughs> <laughs> Kenta Moto won the toss, and he chose to serve. Excellent, thank you. So, the world number one he is 27 years of age now, born in Kagawa, enjoying his 117th week in total as world number one. A disappointment for him at the Olympic Games, he didn't even get out of the group scenario, but he's two-time world champion 2018 and 19, All England champion in 2019. His list of achievements goes on and on. But there is the match I was telling you about against the 2017 winner, Kadambi Shrikan. He had to come from 17-19 down in the deciding game. 
and uh, Trikhan missed a sitter, sitter at the net at 19 all. It was extraordinary. Semi-final against, uh, second round against the semi-finalist from 2019, Gemka. Quarter-final against Rustavito of Indonesia. That quarter-final was actually his shortest match so far here in Paris. So to his opponent, Kanta Suniyama, 25 years of age, born in Saga Prefecture in Western Honshu. 13 on the world ranking at the moment, has been as high as 10. And as I was telling you, this is his third consecutive appearance here at the French Open. His last final, I can tell you, was the Korean Masters Super 300 event at the end of 2019. But look at his results so far in Paris. Beat the 2012 winner, Darren Liu, in the first round. Then the number eight seed, Ung Ka Long of Hong Kong, China. And then Li Chek Yu from Hong Kong, China. And remember, Li Chek Yu was a semi-finalist last week in Denmark, so he's been in great form. 21-16, 21-9, the margin of his victory. Seamus Halpin of Ireland, are on behalf of this, and Fabio Lopez from Brazil, our service judge. Well, no doubt, Suniyama will be the pressure of the two men. But it should be pointed out that Sunyama did play a big part in the Thomas Cup campaign. Uh, played second men's singles most of the time. He's, he did play first singles once when his opponent of today was rested. So he had four matches, played four, only one, two. But... But there was a lot of pressure on him. A lot of pressure. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kanta Suniyama, Japan. And on my left, Kento Mamota, Japan. Kento Mamoto to serve. Lobo. Play. So the number one seed, the reigning and two-time world champion, the left-handed Kento Momota, getting this men's singles semi-final underway. Over. Former champion Cho Tien Chen of One Chinese Taipei love. awaits the winner of this encounter. I'm probably hoping for an hour and a half of play, <laughs> yes, to probably. be very honest. Mind you, Cho Tien Chen, he's played a lot of matches too. Yeah, he had and two matches of 80 minutes. Yeah. Here this week. This yes. week, yes. Two love. Service and I think Morton, that first rally, 28 One, shots. Do you think two. Suniyama has got a clear tactic that he yes. wants to try and work his opponent, move him into all four corners? As much as he can. Uh, that's, of course, the tactic. And it's also his game, so, it, you know, it fits really, goes hand in hand. It's, his style of play is a very good running capability, retrieving, and then, you know, playing at a good pace. What is sometimes his downfall, I think, is the quality of his shots. His opponent is not really stretched when it comes to, you know, make full use of the court. And here I say this and he just bang it down on the line. Yeah, but, uh, OK. But that's not usual. Three, that's not usual, one. I must say. If you just look at the clears and the drop shots he's playing, they are quite centre. Yeah. So I think he's got a game plan A and he's going to follow it all the way through because it's in his DNA.
And Mimosa, he needs to play fast enough to ensure that he can play winners. Not all the time, but either force errors from his opponent or at least himself making some winners. If that's not possible, then it will be a marathon. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Service over. Two, three. I can't remember from one day to the next, more. Oh. Were you with me when Momota played against Rustabito? No. Yesterday? No. no I, OK, I was you on my own. 28 do. shots, another one of 28 shots. But he did quite well against a very good runner as well from Indonesia. Rostovito is, is, a, is a good runner. Yes. And, and I think uh, on paper, I didn't see the match, but on paper it looked like uh, Momota was doing actually a lot better than expected. I thought he was uh, more adventurous than... Uh, I mean, he just seemed to be hanging on by his fingertips in the first two matches here in Paris. I wonder as the week has progressed. Yeah, he's sort of regaining a bit. Yes, recovering slightly. Service over. But rallies like that will hurt. Four, 35 shots are getting two. longer and longer, quite clear on the tactics. Yeah. And it will only get worse, I can assure you. Oh, that is just fabulous. Service over. What great skill. Three, yeah. four. No doubt that Sunyama got surprised here because he thought he was going into the net. He was actually there, but thought he never had to play it. In. So is that. Oh, and it came out of the tumble before he played the lift. Clever play from Romolta. Service over. Five, three. 33. <laughs> I wonder what the average rally length is so far. It must be in its 20s, I reckon. Possibly, yes. But it doesn't, doesn't take a lot, you know, a service yeah. return error. Then, yeah. you know, the... Average a goes way down. Way down, yes. But if you take uh, all rallies above eight shots and then say, what's the average of that? Mm. That could be interesting. Service over. Four, five. That's right. Yeah, I don't think he could have reached it anyway. Five, oh. This man, Sunyama, won the Thailand Open back in 2018. That was a Super 500 event. That's his biggest tournament win so far. Yeah, I caught that one. Who was that against? 
That was against Tommy Sugiato, and he That's won in true. three games, 21-9 in the deciding game. All good. <laughs> yeah, he can't believe it's in Suniyama. Seven, five. Well, we talked a little bit last week, didn't we, Morton, about whether Kenta Momoto was getting back to his best in 2019. 12 finals, winning 11 of them, from only 16 <laughs> tournaments played. Yeah. And 16 tournaments in a year actually is a pretty good number for a singles player. Yes. Well, it's called out, and I think Counter that Tuniyana Suniyama challenges will win this challenge. Out. I thought that looked good. Oh, no. was out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So this is a very good run by Kento Mamota. Eight. Five straight five. points. Play. I think that there are glimpses, going back to the point about whether he's, you know, getting back to his best after his horrific car accident and uh, having COVID as well. But I don't think we're going to see it in Paris because I think he's having to play a different sort of game Nine, than five. him and his best because of this accumulation of tiredness. I would agree with you on that. And uh, I, I also think that every time we talk about Momota, we talk about this car accident that he was in. And for me, I think it's very important to stress that he had nothing to do with that Service accident. Over. He was a passenger. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes people have... Six. If they nine. don't know a lot about it, they will say, oh, yeah, maybe a young man, you know, yeah. driving a car and yeah. all the rest of it. He was a passenger. Yes, and tragically, the driver of the vehicle did die. He did. So it was really tragic. But we, we have, I agree with you on the fact that it's, it's different skills in play here in, in, uh, in France, in Paris. Mm. Um, I think he's using this as much match play as he can get to try to regain where he was in 2019. And uh, I, I can only, you know, I really take my hat off for, Seven, for the attitude and the way nine. that he fights. When we saw him play in, in Denmark and he left uh, quite crucial shots on his backhand, or sorry, on his forehand at the back of the court. I'm not entirely sure whether his eyesight was completely back to where it was before. Yeah. And um, his anticipation probably not as good as it was before. But hopefully, mm. for all of us, for the game of badminton, for Kento Momota, for everyone, he will be coming back and we will see great matches between him and all the rest of them. Yeah. Service so over. I sincerely hope for that. Yeah, he Ten, had eye surgery on seven. the 8th of February 2020 because he'd been complaining of double vision after that car accident. And in fact, they discovered that there was an orbital floor fracture of the right eye. So it was a very serious eye injury. Service over. Eight. Ten. One of the things I still think that Momota need to improve compared to 2019 is that his attack in 19 was a lot better than his attack now. Yes. And that needs to change because 
he needs to be able to score more on his own chances. If not, he's been just asked to work too much. That's what we've seen over. over the last, let's say, six Eleven, weeks already. Nine, yeah. He needs to be able to score more points on his own opportunities. So it is a two-point advantage for Kinto Momota. At the mid-game interval here at the opening game. No coaches involved because both players from Japan and the national coaches leaving the players to their own devices. But we were discussing the other day, Morton, that no player from Japan has ever won the men's singles here, and I've got records dating back to 1908. <laughs> That's pretty good. So, but we do know seconds, since the inception of the seconds. Super Series and now the World Tour that there's been two players from Japan who've contested the French Open final. Kenichi Targo contested two in 2011. He lost to Lee Chong Wei. 2013, he lost to Yano Jorgensen. And then in 2017, as a qualifier, Kenta Yoshimoto. Yeah, got over the way. Yeah, lost to Kidambi Play. Shrikanth in the final. So the Japan are guaranteed a third player to contest a final at the French Open. But who will it be? Which one of these two? It's tight. Oh, that's a loose one. Yeah, very loose. Rallies are getting longer and longer. Look at that. 40 shots. That's wide. Yeah, but I don't think we've seen anything yet. I think 13, we, will, we could easily get to a rally of 55, 60 shots as well. It would not surprise me. Do you think that Momota would even want to go that? Wouldn't he go start going for winners rather than playing long rallies like that? You can say that, but if you then watch the two players and you look at the energy level that both of them are using, Sunyama is using 13. so much more energy to play the style that he's playing than Momota is. So. You know, maybe Momota is also thinking, OK, I'll maybe be tired, but if Sunyama is getting tired, I'm probably even better off. Mm. So I'm, Interesting. I'm not entirely sure he's too scared, but it's definitely the game plan of Sunyama. See, I, I would love if Momota would start attacking these shots. He had two opportunities down the line on the forehand side, and he took none of them. Yeah, and that's a wonderful smash from Sunyama. 11-13. Just inside the line. Great accuracy.
Mm. Well, Moses is half, half dead on his feet here. Yes, We're he only is. halfway through the opening game. Take no chances. Keep playing. This has got to be the longest rally so far, surely. That's what I say. We, we will hit 50 at one stage. And I think we're hitting it here. Yeah, I reckon we're into the 70s. Yes. And that's out. Absolutely wonderful. So it's over. 14, 11. Battle, not only physical, but psychological. Neither of them wanting to give an inch in that rally. Absolutely incredible. 77 shots. Thank you. My goodness. Racket is gone, I think. Yeah, Momo's yeah. racket. <laughs> so over. I think he did well, actually. 12 14. Yeah, but in the end, no control with the broken strings. 480 at the start of today. Racket's restrung this yes. week. I spoke to Tim as well. Yeah. Asked him. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Mm. And all the stringers still all have smiles on their faces as well. <laughs> yeah. well that's what's so incredible. Yeah. Wow. Out. That's out. Ooh. Kento Momota challenges. No, no, no. no. Hang on. Out. It's already called out. Change of mind, did he? Yeah, so he's not going to challenge when it's called out. Yeah. It's already called out. Well, he won't lose a challenge. <laughs> That's challenge no matter what. Well, that, One challenge was, remaining. I think... No, 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 no. We have a problem here. Yeah. He changed his mind. It's out. out. Would you challenge? You cancelled the challenge. So, the tournament referee Ian Ross from England coming in. He cancels the challenge, it's now valid, yes. Yeah. Players have got to be very careful because if they raise their arm to Service indicate over. that it's out, it can be misconstrued 15, as 12. a challenge. Yes. But all's well because the shuttle was called out, it was out, and. So he couldn't have lost the challenge anyway? No. And that gave a little bit of second wind, I think. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a that's beauty. Lovely block across court. 16, 12. So he's opened up a four point cushion now. Did have a four point cushion earlier, though, didn't we? 9 5. 
service over 13, 16. Got away with it, Suniyama, due to overcommitment from uh, Momota. That's a good punch, Cliff. That's in. It's in, yes. And these were the kind of shots that he was leaving in the Denmark Open. That exact spot. When Mamoto was 13. at his best, he was known for the quality of his net plate. And it's definitely coming back, I think. It is. It is. Coming. Well, we can't see it there, but it was Thank a you. wonderful, wonderful net shot off his opponent's net shot. Here we go. We'll see it here. Look at that. And sometimes they are even tighter as and when they hit the top of the tape, because when they hit the top of the tape, it kinds of jumps further into the court. Mm. But when these kind of shots are coming, when it's 17, not touching, 13. it is extremely close. Ah, that's a good reply. Yeah. Service over. Well played by Suniyama. 14, Love that one. 17. Oh, it's done it again. Yep. How many is that? That's four, I think. It's been a very, right, very yes. good smash, the cross court from yeah. the forehand 15, side. 17. That's a beauty. Yeah. Nice blocked. Really nice block shots on, on the cross 16, here. 17. So that was it four points. Seems to be slipping away. Yeah. That's a beauty. Oh, yeah. how did he play that? Service over. A defensive shots off the body from Momota. 18, Take a look at this. 16. Yeah, it's coming now. That's he played that with a backhand grip, you know. He did. It's really good. That's an amazing shot. Oh, yes. 
service over. 17, 18. No power left in the legs to change direction. One point in it. Huge physical over. effort and commitment from Kento Momota 19, to follow up, 17. play the kill. And this is what we have to see him do some more. that stayed his side. 18, 19. Well, one thing to think about, Morton, as this gets harder and harder, this match, these players can't retire with cramp or anything because nope. then they'd get no ranking points. Yes because they're playing one na same nation. Yeah. So 19 all. 19 all. <laughs> Who's going to have the game point? This is it. Off. Yeah. The answer is Momota. Service over. I think. Suniyama was trying to points, consider 19. trying a, a sort of cross courts inside out backhand net shot there. Ended up perhaps if he changed his mind, making a complete hash of it. So game point opportunity for Kento Momota. Really tight as well. Didn't, didn't do it, anything with it. Exactly my words. Didn't do anything. And it's important for Momo to this. And that's out. Oh, he's missed it. Service over. Another marathon rally. Another rally in the 70s, 20 71 all. shots. 20 all extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. I think Romalta has to win this opening game, Morton. Yeah, that's why, why I mentioned it uh, before. I think it's immensely important to him. Kind of will give him a second wind as well. <laughs> what a net over. shot. Well, he's tiptoeing up there. 20. And then yeah. he's playing the shot so carefully. And he played it to perfection. Thank you. 
Look at that. Hit the top of the tape and literally just died going over. Could not have been tighter. So a second game point opportunity for Momota. Short exchange. 21 all. I'm surprised that Momota is not staying in for that one there. He's playing a very nice tumbling net shot, but he's not staying in to kill the next one. Mm. And that means Suniyama is getting away with it. That could have been the deciding shot, I think. Should have stayed with it. That's well left. Service over. That's brave. Will it be third time lucky? Looking to Momota. Third game point opportunity. heard that the average rally length is 21 shots after the, the interval. interval after the, so interval. the second half of this game yes third game point opportunity Nice backhand. Yeah, once yeah. again. Service over. Twenty-two off. Thank you. Wide. Yeah. Little Service injection over. of pace of movement from Kento Mamota. Fourth game point. I think it had to come now. It has to come now. And I think Momota is doing the right thing. He's injecting pace from the beginning of every rally to see whether he can create an advantage. Service over. 23 off. Oh, that's a good smash. Service over. Well, I don't know if you saw the expression on the face of Momoto as he hit that absolute I grimace that everything was going into it. Yeah. He's going for his winners. 
And he's been doing that for quite a while. Just not been able to get two in a row. So fifth game point opportunity. Down the line, yeah. Oh, he was running quickly across. Oh, he's waiting there, he, Sugiyama. He is. Good anticipation. it up with a net shot like that. Ay, ay, ay. Fantastic. <laughs> How on earth did Sunayama get to that one? 24 oh. This one here. And he not only got to it, he got it back with interest. It crawled up the net and went over. Okay. 50 shots. Oh, we're very nearly 40 minutes into the match and we haven't even finished the opening game. Women's singles semi-final we've just watched was 35 minutes from the first two games. Yes. Twenty-four all. usually happens that uh, the other one will get one chance and then take it. Yes. <laughs> 25, uh, 24. Good commitment from Momota. The jump smash making the difference. Game point opportunity number six for the reigning world champion. again. Ooh, good defence. Mamosa must start doing something differently from that deep forehand corner. That Suniyama is waiting every single time and here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> the pretend big jump smash <laughs> and finally after 40 minutes of play Kento Momota takes the opening game on his sixth game point opportunity. 26-24. Uh, I think we have to have the doctor on, yeah, on he's, court. He's wanting some spray or something on his Yeah, his back. back. Yeah. yeah, but I hope he realises he can't withdraw and keep all of his ranking points. Yeah, hopefully he has been uh, briefed well enough. Yeah. What an extraordinary open game. Oh, 
this is very concerning. Because the sport of Babington needs this man, and if he has to pull out and gets no ranking points, he's got no chance, I don't think, probably, of making it to the World Tour Finals. 20 seconds. So one game to the good, the world number one. Quarter time. 26 24. Thank you. Second game. Well, I'm not surprised he picked up some niggling in, in injuries Play. after all the badminton that he's been playing over the last six weeks, five, six weeks. See, that's again the same shot Service coming from over. a motor from the One. deep forehand Love. corner straight down the line and Suniyama is just there, there waiting for every single one of them. A different shot would be a winner and it would be a point. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. One off. Good cross court smash. from Kento Momota. Um. Service over, two, one. It's not coming over. 3-1. Three, one. Three, one. It doesn't look good for Kenta Momota. I think his back is really, really hurting. Play by Sunyama. Good quality of the lift. Chasing his opponent very nicely around on court. Yeah, that's good play once again. Good quality. Yeah, it doesn't look good for Kenta Momota. And four one. Yeah, look, he's it's not in the picture. He's holding his onto his hip and back, and it doesn't look too good for him. Yep, and that's long on the back line. Service over. Closing the gap to two points two, at two four. Four. But as as you say, Jill, you know, it doesn't look good for Momota if he doesn't know that he cannot stop. No. And he I will know. lose all his ranking points. Because as you can see, he's getting worse and worse with his back.
Yeah. Service over. This is serious problems. And uh, this is what's so tragic Five, that two. rules have been introduced to stop some uh, behaviour of some players from some countries that doesn't sit well with the integrity of the sport. But when you've got a, a player who's played so much over the last few weeks and is so obviously Service struggling over. and he just happens to be playing against a teammate. Three, five. Yeah. The rules introduced to stop you know, we could, we could. unfortunate behaviour sort of works against the, the honest ones who, who are trying to keep going. Yeah, and the problem is that we can we can get into an even more Service crazy over. situation where Momota perhaps Six, can't move at all three. and can't even receive a serve, and we have to go through, what, 35 services where he's just standing still. Yeah. Thank you. You want to retire? Yeah, he wants to retire. Well, this is... This is not good. This is not good. I hope that the tournament referee points out that... Yeah. He wishes to retire. He wishes to retire. Okay. He will not get any ranking points. He will, will not... Yeah, I, I think they need to Doctor. talk to him. Doctor. Doctor. I'm not sure how good his English is, whether he can communicate this. I think he's trying to get the rules right here. We can't hear any of this at the moment. This is, we really need to be able to hear what's been said. It's just a guess. treatment then you need to reply it's only it, it, it will I, i'm not going to comment on that at this moment in time so if you wish to play you play if you do not wish to play then we stop now mm. you need to decide mm, whether you will play or whether water. you will i stop. do remember at the japan open a few years ago Mizaki Matsutomo twisted her ankle badly I, against I tell Japanese you. opposition and because tell it was you. genuine, yep. the, she didn't lose all of her ranking points. Okay, that's good to hear. Okay, he's going the common sense prevailed. Yeah. But I think we will see, as I say, 35 yeah. returns to surf. Six, three. Yeah. Well, all I hope is Seven, that he doesn't do himself three. further damage. Yes. I mean, it's no spectacle for the for the fans to watch. No, this is this is beyond it now. Yeah. But he, he, he obviously, I think, understands that he must stay on court until yep. the match is finished. Oh. Mister. Service over. Well, that was in. It's a challenge here from Momota. Momota challenges called out. 
You're in a better place to see, so Morton, what do you think? Uh, it's, it's so close. Yeah. yeah. Good Correction challenge. In. Five. If by some seven. miracle he was able to win this in two straight games, would he be play. fit for the final? No. No. He wouldn't be able to play tomorrow. No. When this, when he's getting cold and this is stiffening up, then uh, I don't think he can move. Service over. Eight, five. That's a good smash. Service over. Uh, but the way he's walking after the, after the rally, Six, watch eight. after the smash as he goes forward to the net. Yeah, he was in pain, I can assure you. Service over. Nine, six. Did he get that one back? Oh. Look at this drop shots coming here. It's just perfect. Even Sunyama gave up trying to chase it up. Service over. Ten. Well. Seven. The average rally in the opening game was 28 shots for the entirety of the game. But that's incredible. That's just because ridiculously many. long rallies. Because average rally length. Because we've done some tests on it. Can you remember in the doubles? And it's like anything between six and eight 11, shots seven, mm, is, is the, the average in the, yeah. in the men's doubles. Well, we're not having an average rally length now anywhere near that because Momota is a man that's in physical distress.
this actually, Morton, you know, raises a very serious issue because if a player really shouldn't be playing on, you know, but because of the, the rules that he's given, loses ranking points, he won't get any ranking points for this tournament if he pulls out against a teammate. 11, 7. It's quite serious if a player is playing Play. when they really shouldn't be on court. I don't know whether we're at that stage yet. I don't think we are. We are not at that stage. I think he's, he's, he's pulled a little bit, small thing around the hip area. And I think he will be ready to play in five or six days time. I, I don't consider that this is a big, 12, big injury, seven. but it's, it's very annoying to have. Mm. Tough of it, uh, for him to get out of bed tomorrow morning. Going to be seven. traffic now. That's a nice shot. Mm. Fourteen. No matter what, seven. Yeah. it was a really nice shot from uh, Suniyama. I like that one down the line. Five straight points. Yeah, it's, as you say, it's going to be one-way traffic. Yeah. There will be the odd one like that, but otherwise... Service over. Eight, 14. Oh, lucky in heck, Nine, fourteen. Service over. Yeah, just going through 15, the motions now. There's not much to say, is there? No. Six. In all honesty. Nine. A challenge here challenges called in. And I've been wrong on that line all week, but to me it actually looks like it's out, but it's in. I don't know why I'm getting that challenge one wrong unsuccessful. all the time. One challenge remaining. Service over. 10-16. Play. 
service over. Oh, that wasn't the right one to try and smash anyway. It was a <laughs> wonderful 17. Length. Yeah. 10. And right into the corner, too, from this man, Suniyama. Service over, 11, 17. When he was Service moving over. back from the net there, his leg 18, gave way, which, is, which I think has come from the back or the hip problem. Yes. Yeah, look at the yeah. grimace on his yeah. face. Uh, he can't move, but he's got to stay on court if he wants his ranking 19, points. 19, 11. Two points away from the second game. Formality now, surely. But well, Suniyama, we, we have to focus a bit on him, I, th I think. And <clears throat> it's not an easy situation either for him. No. He, he can see that, of course, Momota is nowhere near game point anything, his 11. best and all that. But he got to stay focused and he's got to do what he's got to do. Mm. And it, it's, it's not easy. No. And, you. and you know, he, he might kind of fall asleep and say, oh, this is OK, this is a foregone conclusion, I will win this. But then he will drop in pace and in quality and all that. He's got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. And it's not an easy thing to do. And when you see the other one suffering that much on the other side, it's not fun. No. It's simply no fun. Game. One game all, 21-11. Second game won by Kanta Tsuniyama. An hour and five minutes 11. into the match. One game off. Right, well, one of the coaches has come on and is probably just explaining the rules. Yeah. And saying, look, you can't pull out. You're going to lose your ranking points. This isn't coaching. I, I stress, I do not believe for one moment this is coaching. I think this is just explaining the rules yeah. so that he understands got to keep going. And in fact, I think the coach... Oh, he's quit. Yeah, they, they have decided between them. That's, this is it. And then they will take the battle at the drawing board. Well, that's a great loss to the World Tour Finals, I suspect, because... No ranking points from this tournament. Oh, that's lovely. Young fan gets the shuttle. But uh, it's very interesting, Morton, because I'm pretty certain Yosuke Nakanishi has said, I don't want you enjoying yourself further. Yeah. You quit. It doesn't matter Rita, about the ranking Mota, points. Mota uh, let's just get Matsu ready for the Indonesian Kanta, tournaments. Suniyama. He's now talking to Suniyama. And in fact, the coach 11. is going to carry both racket bags for the players to show that there's no favoritism. And, and that's nice. I like that. Uh, it's, it's so nice. I couldn't agree with you more. Well, at least we will have a men's singles final tomorrow because Suniyama, a co who will be tired, will be able to play, whereas, quite frankly, Kenta Momota would never have been able to recover. 24, 26, 21, 11. An hour and six minutes with Momota retiring with a very obvious bad back. Two men chatting to each other as they leave. Teammates, rivals. 
but above all, colleagues. Friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So after that, men's singles, and sadly with Kenta Momota having to retire injured with that bad back, we turn our attention to the women's doubles. And it is the defending champions, Lee So He and Shin Siang Chan, up against the new Japanese pair of Yuki Fukushima and Arisa Higashino. Higashino already through to the mixed doubles final, but when we look at the draw of the women's doubles, six seeds at quarterfinals, six different nationalities, two pairs from Japan, 